Pozdrav društvo, dobrodošli na još jednom tutorial Slobodan na zone Balkan, kao što znate moje ime je Rade. Nije mi bilo neko vrijeme naravno, zato što sam spremao svakako jedno fantastično izanicijenje. Naime, radi se o tome da u gostima imamo Bradley, ja iz kompanije Helium 10. Bradley je jedan iskusan prodavac na Amazonu koji je plasirao preko 400 profitabilnih produkata za razno razne kompanije za koje je radio, naravno, sad radi već za Helium 10. I tu je da nam pokaže kako možemo naći Tačnije, pronaći profitabilan Amazon produkat uz pomoć softera Helium 10. Naravno, pokazat će nam koje to filtere on koristi i potrudit ćemo se svakako da pronađemo neki jako zanimljiv produkat koji će također i vama biti interesant. Pa hajde da krenemo. Bradley, can you please tell us something more about yourself? Ah, hello guys, uh, my name is Bradley. I work for Helium 10, I'm the success manager. So basically my, uh, my job is to make sure that, that everybody is successful on Amazon, especially using Helium 10 software. So uh, if, that is, if you become successful on Amazon, then I did my job. So I hope to, well, this will be a start first video and we're gonna show you how to find the product. So this is good for people Maybe you, you don't even sell on Amazon yet. It's good for you because we're gonna find the product. If you're already selling on Amazon, maybe even have 10 products, this video will still be good for you because you'll learn how to be able to choose a, a good product to sell. Okay. It's also right. good for me because I, did, I don't have any experience with Helium 10, so it will be really interesting to see how it really works. Okay, perfect, perfect. All right, so I'm going to share my screen here. Um, okay. Let's see. Okay, now you should, uh, should be able to see my screen. So we are the, the program in Helium 10, uh, actually Helium 10 has over 20, uh, 20 tools in all, but today we're just going to go over two or three okay. that can help us to find a product to sell on Amazon. So uh, tell me, which category would you like me to search in? Maybe one or two categories. Uh, so you can do like, I prefer sports, some, something sport and outdo outdoors, some, something like uh, fitness or... Okay, anything else? Like maybe we can pick two. Maybe home and kitchen. Okay, or... home and kitchen. All right, we'll try those two. Now the first thing, and then uh, just for everybody to know, this is not like the only way to do this. Uh, you can choose whatever filters, whatever, mm -hmm. uh, whatever details you want. I'm just showing you one way, but really there's hundreds of ways in black box you can find the opportunity. And it's important that you understand that when we're looking for opportunity, it can't always be a kind of product we know a lot about. Many times it's gonna be a product that maybe we know nothing about, all right? Because sometimes, the products that we know about, it, there's too much competition. So we have to kind of open our mind and, and make sure that we're picking something that has a good opportunity. So the first thing I'm going to put here, and of course anybody can choose anything, I'm going to say, show me something that is making now, you know, selling at least $5,000 per month. So I know there is existing demand. I want to find a product that is already selling $5,000 a month. Uh, the price I'm going to put between $15 and $30. Now, again, you choose what works good for you. But why did I choose $15 to $30? Well, I could pick a product that is selling for maybe $8 or $10. But uh, think about the cost to make the product, the shipping to get it from China to USA or to Amazon. Then Amazon's 15% commission then the shipping yeah. from Amazon to the customer, and then taxes, custom duty. At the end, uh, your profit might be too low, all right, for a very cheap product. So it needs But you know, if that's what you want, high, yeah, yeah that, that, that's no problem. You know, people still do have success. Uh, but why did I pick maximum 30? Well, let's say you have a $50 product, all right? Maybe the cost to produce is $20 and maybe your factory minimum order quantity is 1,000 pieces. Well, that's $20,000. And a lot of people, we don't have, I don't have $20,000 to, to, to put on a uh, down you know, investment. So that's why I put maximum 30. For, for most sellers, 
maybe that's your budget. But if you are rich and famous, then okay. Choose a more, more expensive uh, product. It's actually good for less competition. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, uh, do, do you ever buy things online or on Amazon? I buy, I buy online. I buy it usually on Amazon. What's something recent that you searched for on Amazon? Uh, like or, a, or for fitness product, you mean? No, for anything. What, what, what have you bought as a, as a customer, as a buyer? What, what, I buy like gloves for the, for the gyms, for, the, for workout. I buy the bottles for protein shakes. And, um, okay, let's look out that. Workout gloves. And gloves and... Okay, so now let's say uh, what I'm looking at is review count. So let's say you are, you know, you search this, all right? Mm -hmm. uh, let me just see here there's any with low okay so here, here's a good example if, if we are here at the top okay um perfect example we see 1800 reviews 2000 reviews 2000 reviews and then maybe right here you see this product three reviews which one would you feel more comfortable to click on the, the, the 2,000 reviews or the three reviews? 2,000 reviews, yeah. Always, yeah. As a buyer, that's oh. what we, we feel like. We, we feel more confidence in more reviews. So I'm going to put here maximum 20 reviews. And why am I doing this? That's because if I can find a product that is selling at least $5,000 but only has less than 20 reviews, it could mean that maybe the competition is less because if this only had 20 reviews or 10 reviews, nobody would buy this on this page. Why? Mm -hmm. Because everybody is going to pick the 2000, the 1000, the 2000 reviews. So if I can find one that's less than 20, maybe that means other products that is the competition maybe is only, uh, maybe only has 20 reviews or 50 reviews. All right. Then that means it's going to be easier for us to sell, all right? The other thing is, let's take a look here, workout gloves. Same thing, look at this one, uh, 4.5 stars, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5 stars, 4.5 stars. And then this one, three stars. Now, if, if everything had the same number of reviews, everything had 1,000 reviews, and you see all five-star products, and then you see a three-star product, are you ever going to click on the three-star product? No. No. Me, me, me neither. And again, the, the reason is we think, hey, something must be wrong with this product because so you, many people think, right? We usually think that uh, as much as reviews you have, that is better guaranteed that you have a good quality of the product. Yeah. So it's not just number of reviews, yeah. but it's the kind of review. Yes. So that's why the star rating. So I'm going to put maximum 3.5 because again, I just said, uh, and he just said that if there's three star product we're not going to buy it if there's many four and five star products so again if i can find a product that is selling at least five thousand dollars but less than 3.5 stars what does it mean well maybe it means every product in that category is maybe three stars right so that means if i have a new product that is five stars right away my product is more attractive to the buyers, right? So that would be like a bonus for me. Or it could mean that maybe this product is so unique, like it has some feature that only this product has. So that means the people, the customers, if they are looking for that feature, they have no choice. They have to get this product because it is the only one that matches their need. So again, that is an indication of low competition. Now, let me just check one thing here. I'm going to check how many images uh, some of these have. Uh, and that is one thing that Helium 10 can do is we can see things, uh, what, uh, what number of images the product has, uh -huh. which is very important. So let me just, my, my computer is so slow. So let me refresh this page again. I have too many windows open here. I'm going to start closing some of these windows. Yep, my 
Let's try another one. My, my, my Amazon is not working. Amazon, let me go back to Amazon. Let's try it again. Amazon, please work. Okay, my maybe maybe it's just Amazon. It's not working. So Amazon, oh, somebody just broke Amazon right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but Helium 10 should be working. So let's, let's go to Helium 10 instead of Amazon. All right, so I wanted to explain. Uh, I wanted to show something. Let me get out of that. Yeah, and let me close some more windows here. I have too many windows open. All right, closing the windows. There. Okay. So, uh, when you uh, when you buy something on Amazon, you like to look at the pictures, right, to understand what the product is about. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you see a listing with maybe only um with maybe only one product or one i'm sorry one image is that enough for you to make a, uh make a decision it looks more fake i am um, for me what's uh, I, I need more information so i need uh, the pictures i need the text and uh, content and uh, something exactly. to convince me to buy you know exactly. at least the good quality of the pictures yes yes and then so and also sometimes usually when i see a listing that only has, you know, let's say two or three images. Actually, usually those listings, the rest of the listing is also bad. Like bullet points is very bad and description is bad because if somebody is an experienced Amazon seller, we know that, um, we know that they need, uh, you know, we know that they, the images need to be at least five or six or seven images. Uh, we know that the bullet points need to be good. We know the description. We know the title, et cetera. So this could be an indication, again, that it is something wrong with the listing, all right? So why would a listing that has like only two images, how is it possible for it to sell $5,000 a month? So um, actually, I, I pulled up the workout gloves here. Let me try to share the screen. And let's just see if there's any workout gloves that are like this and do not have enough pictures. Let me pull this here. Here we go. Let's see. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, I hope it's working, yeah? It was working on my other window. There we go. There we go. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to take an example of this one here. Open a new tab and compare to this one. All right, here we go. So now uh, we're checking on Amazon. This one looks good. Like, uh, okay, you know, here we have nice images. Wow, nice bullet points, okay? And if I put my mouse on, on these other pictures, it's going to show, looks like we have a, a lifestyle, lifestyle images. Okay, so it shows how the product is working. Wow, very good details. Uh, another lifestyle, different angle. Um, show some sexy model here. So that is interesting. And then another one. So like you have all the information you need right here in this, right? Probably this is yeah. enough for you to make a decision. Of but course. then uh, we, we check another listing. Let's just check another. Now look at this listing. Right. One image here and measurements of glove size. Like it's nothing inspiring. And just like I said, look here. Usually they don't know how to make a good image. Look at these terrible bullet points, right? So this is why here in black box, I'm going to say maximum images, let's just say three. Because if I can find one that is selling well, but with bad images, well, maybe now, maybe now, uh, if I have a new product that has seven images, immediately my listing is going to be better than this one. So let's see i'm going to uh, search this and i'm not sure you know maybe i have to change the search maybe i made this too narrow but what i am telling helium 10 first of all just so people know helium 10 has uh the most products in its database more than any other tool we have over 450 million products in our database 450 million that's more than anybody except for uh, amazon itself so what i did was i said Helium 10, show me products in home and kitchen or sports and outdoors. 
that is making at least $5,000 a month. The retail price is between $15 and $30. Review count is 20 or less. Uh, that means number of reviews. The rating, the stars, the, the review star is 3.5 or less. Uh, images, three or less, all right? And it found 58 products. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look here for anything that really looks interesting uh, to me here that really I think is going to be, you know, a possibility to, to, sell, to sell okay. So let's take a look here. I see some home shower curtain sets. I see a bottle, eh, not too interesting. Uh, actually, a lot of shower curtains here. That's interesting. Let's see, so many shower curtains. Um, let's see, here is drink coasters. Dog boots, what is a dog boot? <laughs> so, you know, usually you can find many products here. Let's see, that, I don't want the brand name. So I'm just gonna keep looking here. And if, if this said more than 200, that means I need to make my filters a little bit less. I would want to make my, my filters less. So let's check uh, Easter Bunny picture frame. Okay, let's take a look at this. This is interesting here. It's a good Easter. price. It's like $30, so, so yeah. the margin is probably high. So, I mean, this is only because this week, you know, is Easter in America, but mm -hmm. this is the kind of thing that is interesting. Look at this. It, it's only two and a half stars. Crazy. Mm -hmm. So two and a half stars, only three images, just like I said, less than 40 reviews, only three reviews, yet it is making uh, a decent amount of money. Uh, it is actually a very high, high BSR, 17,000. And you could see the trend, by the way, this is helium 10. You can see the sales rank as we get closer to Easter getting better and better sales. So this is interesting, right? So how much money is it making? It is making 5, 000, 6, about 5000 to $6,000 per month. So let's say, let's forget about that this is Easter. Okay, let, let's yep. just pretend that this is just a regular product that sells well throughout the year. Uh, what is the next step to take? Because this does not mean, just because uh, I found this, right? This does not mean I am guaranteed to, to be successful. This is not enough research. What is the next step that I need to do? So I know that this product is making $6,000 a month. I also know that it's terrible. The listing is terrible. Uh, the review is terrible. But how is it making $6,000 a month? So where do sales come from on Amazon? Like how do people get this product? How do people buy this product? How would you say of course not, but maybe they need it. It's like the, 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 the now it's a, this popular time, you know. Mm -hmm. and, uh, if you have this kind of product, it's, it's, it's going to sell. But if you, if you improve it a bit, you can make mm -hmm. much more sales than, than this, what this person is making at, uh, at this moment. True. So, so but, but how, how do they find the product? How do you think they, you know, customers, how do customers even find this product? How is the way to... To yeah, find product on Amazon. They type it just the correct name, like Easter pictures, you know, because they exactly. need, you know, it's not random. It's, it's like a exact a keyword to find the, 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 the product. Exactly. So what would be a question you have about this product? You as a seller, like, or we, you and me and everybody listening, we know it makes $6,000. What would be the question that we would want to ask? What, what, what would you most like to know? What would you think? About, about the product, about the revenue, about the money. Yeah, like what? Like if they're making $6,000 and you're thinking about selling something similar, yeah. the question I would like to know is what keywords or what search are people doing in order to buy this product? Yeah. Does that make sense? Of course. Yeah, so it's like, hey, if I want to make this product very similar, I need to know for this, for this seller, how did he sell so much? All right, so this is how Helium oh, 10 comes it, in. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to take the ASIN of the product, copy. I'm going to go to uh, open a new window in uh, Cerebro. Yeah. 
And now here in Cerebro, Cerebro is our reverse ASIN. Basically, I can put in the ASIN here, and I will find all of the related keywords to okay. this product. I mean, this is really incredible. Maybe a lot of you have never seen such a, uh, such a, um, such a function before. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to pick, uh, we're going to go through this. I want to see organic or organic results. Let's see, organic results. Okay, so I want to know where this is, where they could be getting their sales from, okay? So Which let's say, yeah. yes. So let's say that um, here, all right? Now here is, a word, all right? Picture frames multi-pack. Uh, it is searched for maybe, you know, 200 times a month. That's actually not much, but the position where it is, is 295. What does that mean? That means that if you search picture frames multi-pack on Amazon, let's actually go ahead and do that. What happens is this here is position one, position two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, going on and on and on and on all the way, you know, page two, page three. All right. So basically what this is saying that is if I search this, this product will appear in position 295. So mm -hmm. maybe that is what page six or page 10 or, or something crazy. Right. So, um, do you think that this company is getting many sales from this keyword? Uh, not, no, I don't think so. No, no. And, and why not? The search, the search volume is too low. Yeah, yeah. search volume is too low, but it, let's say this was 10,000. Let's yeah. say it was 10,000 search volume. Still, do you think that they would get sales from this keyword being no. in page 10? No. When, when you bought your workout gloves, did, did you buy one or you were just searching? Or yeah, you I actually bought, bought, bought it. I bought it, yeah. Where, where did you find it? On did you go page. all the way to page 10? No, I was too lazy to do it. I did, I did the first one, so it's the same. Exactly, exactly. So that's exactly why, and every customer is just like you and they're like me. We, so we second, don't have patience. Uh, second of the third one, maximum what I do, personally. Yeah, yeah so we, we find it uh, second page, maybe maximum third page. So I'm going to do a filter. I'm going to say, show me, um, show me the products that uh, this 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 person is ranking between a page, maybe page one. All right. So I'm going to say, show me between uh, one and uh, twenty-five. Let's just say that as an example. Okay. So now we have a smaller list of keywords. But here's another. Here's another question. Mm -hmm. Five photo frame, or here, here we go. Here, here's one. Egg picture frame. Now we might think, wow, that is a very uh, important keyword. Egg picture frame. And actually, wow, they are page one, position 10. So we might think, woo, this is a good keyword. Maybe they're getting lots of sales, but are they getting many sales from this keyword? The answer is no, because look at the search volume. Yeah. Not, even yeah. one, not even one person per day is searching for this, all right? So I'm gonna say, hey, at least show me, show me the words that are being searched for at least, you know, at least 100 times per month, all right? At least 100 times per month. Now, we take a look at this. Now, look at this. Oh, Easter, Easter picture frame, search for more than 1,000 times per month, and they are actually page one, position one. Oh. The last time we checked. So. For this keyword, do you think a lot of sales are coming from this keyword? Of course. Of course, absolutely. So now, now that I know this, this is what I'm going to search. And I'm going to search here for the competition as a whole, all right? So here's that product right here, all right? So now what I want to do is I want to check here in my Chrome extension, what kind of opportunity there is here, right? So in the meantime, while this is checking, I want to show you guys what is, uh, what is a proof that there is no opportunity. Let me show you what you don't want to see because it's pretty crazy. Get a, oh, my computer is so slow.
Okay. So I search for collagen peptides and you guys will be shocked at, at some of these numbers is uh, so crazy. Um, I'm going to show it to you once this page loads right here. Um, so if we do x-ray on this page, it's still, it's still loading. There we go. All right. Up, oh, still loading. There we go. X-ray. So I'm going to do X-ray on this page. Let's go back to the Easter. It's going to take a little bit to load up. Come on, please work. There we go. Yeah. All right. So let's take a look here. I'm going to show you. It's still loading. I'm going to show you what you want to look for and what you don't want to look for. So let's first go back to the collagen peptides. And the first thing that I look for is the number of sales, estimated sales that these products are doing uh, on a monthly basis. Because if it's selling so much money, it would be very hard for us to compete as a new product because we're not going to be able to get the same sales velocity, all right? Mm -hmm. So for example, look here at the, the, the top of this page, collagen peptides. You see, this is monthly revenue, one product. These mm -hmm. top ones here, selling $2 million, another one, $800,000, another one, $800,000. So it would be very difficult for me to compete at that level, right? Like if I have a new product, how am I going to, to increase my sales velocity to a crazy number like that? It would be almost impossible uh, to do that for, for a new product, all right? If it's the first product and also if you if you're on low budget yeah exactly exactly there is no way that i can make this kind of sales so let us see the uh picture frame right here let us see what the situation is here come on computer i i don't want to i don't want to exit all of my chrome because otherwise it will uh it will disconnect us from the meeting so all right, now look at this. Wow, look at the difference. The top ones making, oh, only 200 sales per month. 230, 92, 170. This is very easy for me to make sales. Like, like I, I, I could sell, I mean, this is how many per day? Like eight units a day, 10 units a day? For a new product, this is no problem to, to make those kind, uh, of those kind of sales, all right? Uh, what is the next thing that I want to look for? The next thing that I want to look for, still loading, is uh, the maybe the number of reviews. Remember we said before that if there is a product that is, or if there is a, a search results that has like, many products have 1,000 reviews, 2,000 reviews, 3,000 reviews. Well, that means that it is going to be difficult for us to compete because people will not want to click, uh, you know, people naturally will not want to click on our product with this number of reviews, okay? So what I am doing is I'm actually going to search here uh, how many reviews they have. What I want is 100, uh, a lot of products with maybe 100 or less reviews. If so many products have 2,000 or 3,000 reviews, then this is dangerous. See, look here, collagen peptides. Look at this number of reviews. Oh my God, 7,000, 3,000, 7,000, 1,000, 3,000. If I was on that first page, it would be impossible for me to get clicks because who is going to click on the product that has, who is going to click on the product that has one review or two reviews when they have the option of 3,000, right? But now look here, five reviews, three reviews, zero reviews, seven reviews. That's crazy. I mean, this is the page one and almost nobody has a good number of reviews. So if I have a new product with five reviews, of course I could compete here, all right? Another one, all right? What is the next thing that I want to search for? What about the review rating, all right? Look at this, everything is good. 4.5, 4, 4.5, 4.5, 5, 4.5, 4. Everything is high reviews, right? So uh, that doesn't mean it's impossible to sell, but that means that we, if we have 4.5 or five stars, we don't have the advantage. 
Now let's take a look at Easter picture frame. Uh, where is it? Here, five. Okay, they're the number one. But look at this, 2.5. Zero stars, three stars, zero, 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 two. This is a big opportunity. We come with a new product that has five stars. Instantly, we are the only one on the top other than this product that has five stars. That's crazy, all right? What's the last thing I look at? Images. Six, nine, five, six, six, seven, eight. Everybody has a good listing in collagen peptides, right? Mm -hmm. How about this one? One, three, three, one, two, one, one. So we come in with a good listing, seven images, eight images. We are immediately the number one listing right here. So this is something interesting, right? This is like, this is something that, um, again, I'm not saying, hey, everybody go try to source this product. Actually, we're late. But maybe next year, you know, Easter time, you make an Easter picture frame. It would be easy for you to get sales. Easy. Sure. And, and this took us, even with my super slow computer, this took us 20 minutes to find a product that could make us $5,000 a month without without even uh without even sweating and so that's the power of uh that's the power of black box where and helium 10 as a whole uh within a short time you can look on amazon and um find products and like i said it could be a product that you don't know anything about or you don't even like like me i i don't celebrate easter i don't like easter that's just me but i found a product and even i don't like it this could be a product that sells like maybe I love uh, cell phone cases. I'm an expert in cell phone cases. I'm not going to be successful selling cell phone cases on Amazon because there's too many people selling cell phone cases. Sure. So don't just look for a product that you know a lot about or you're an expert in. You need to find the products. Maybe you don't know anything about it, but there is a big sign that shows you the opportunity. So uh, do you have any questions? Uh, uh, just to see... It's like, uh, so as, as you said, the, the reviews are important if you want to start to, to search the, 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 the profitable products, of course. So you need to focus on the reviews. You need to check the pictures. So if yes. you can improve that, so you can, you can still have a space or you can, you can manage to, to, to get sales from Amazon. But exactly, yeah, exactly. To, if we need to take care about uh, that uh, the top sellers are not having too much reviews. So the money is not important in that case. So if you, if you see like a million of uh, two million euros they are making, but still they have a lot of reviews, it's still like step back. You, you, you cannot jump in with a, with a low budget to invest and to, to expect the results, of course. Exactly. Yeah. Very good. All right. So um, that was the video about how to you know, find the products. But, you know, a Helium 10 has a lot of uh, different tools. So that's like step one. But after you find a product, there's so many other things that you need to do to really be successful on Amazon. So in a future videos, we will, we will go into that. But if you guys want to start right away and maybe, maybe you're excited, you know, seeing how easy it is to find a product, maybe uh, you're, you're excited. And guys, don't be fooled. Like when I say easy, um, that was, that, that's a good situation, but you need to spend at least two or three or four hours. And it's fun. I, I find this like fun trying to find like 10 or 15 products, then find 10 or 15 products and then pick one or two and really, really do a deep, deep investigation. But if you guys want to start that, please use Helium 10, but, but don't use, don't pay the full price. Uh, I think you have discount code that uh, yes, people can use. Right? For them. Yeah, so you, you'll put that on the bottom uh, of the video. Yeah. So, uh, Bradley, thank you very much for this amazing video. I hope that we will make a few more in the, in the sure. upcoming time for sure. I will call you. Uh, so we need, to, we need to show the people from Balkan how it's uh, easy in this, uh, in this now, this time to start the, the business with a budget of maybe maximum 2,000. You can start a really, a really solid uh, business on Amazon. Yeah. And let everybody know who else you met uh, this morning, the uh, CTO of our company. The CTO is Boyan from the from, uh, uh, Republic of Serbs, from Bosnia. So it's amazing to hear that someone is uh, 
from our uh, place working with Helium 10. It's amazing. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, he's one of the, he's one of the uh, managers, you know, executive in our company. So he's that was good that you guys got to meet. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Bradley. I will uh, now sign off with, uh, for my audience. So I uh, hope to hear you soon. Eh? Sounds good. And thank you very much. Bye-bye. Ja sam nadam da ste uživali u današnjem tutorialu. Ukoliko jeste, svakako lajkujte, vaša podrška mi znači puno, naravno sve ovo ne bi imalo smislu da nije vas, naravno. Ukoliko želite da snimimo još neke dodatne nove lekcije, teme koje vas zanimaju, slobodno pišite dolje u komentarima, pa ćemo na osnovu komentara svakako i snimite neke dodatne lekcije. Ukoliko se niste pridružili Amazon kursu, pridružite se u toku aktualne promocije, naravno ograničaj broj pristupa svakako, u deskripciji imate link i raspitajte se svakako u našoj Facebook stranici, našoj Facebook grupi Sloboda Amazona Balkan. Dobrošite se takođe i na našu Instagram stranicu. Ne zaboravite da lajkujete, komentarišete i šerujete i zapratite ovaj kanal. Sve najbolje i prijatno!